It's January 2nd, 2026, and winter's chill is settling in across Europe. But this year, something is different. High above, the polar vortex, a swirling mass of icy air, shows signs of disruption. When this atmospheric giant stirs, it can unleash chaos, sending Arctic cold surging south. Forecasts hint at a winter of extremes. Media. Strong wind blowing snow across European countryside. Blizzard conditions in European city. Heavy snow falling on streets. Biting winds. Heavy snow. And temperatures far below normal. The usual mild, damp conditions may give way to a season that tests our resilience. Why? Because several key climate drivers are aligning, weakening the invisible barrier that keeps the cold locked in the Arctic. When that barrier breaks, frigid air can sweep across Europe in powerful waves. This isn't just a cold snap, it's a fundamental shift in our winter weather. Understanding these forces is crucial. It's not about fear, but about readiness. Over the next few scenes, we'll break down what's happening in the atmosphere, why this winter is so unusual, and what it means for you. We'll cut through the jargon and get to the heart of the science. This winter could be one for the record books. Knowledge is our best defense against the cold. Let's dive in. The polar vortex. What is it really? Picture a spinning top of frigid air high above the North Pole, encircled by a powerful jet stream. When the jet stream is strong, it locks the cold in place, giving Europe milder winters. But sometimes the vortex wobbles and the jet stream weakens, letting Arctic air escape south. This is when we see severe cold snaps and heavy snow. The most dramatic disruptions are called sudden stratospheric warmings, or SSWs, where temperatures in the stratosphere soar, shattering the vortex. These events can split the vortex, sending lobes of cold air into Europe. The effects aren't instant. There's a lag of weeks as the disruption filters down. This winter, all the warning signs are flashing. The stage is set for a colder, more challenging season. Let's see what's driving this change. What's weakening the polar vortex this year? Two major players. La Nina and the Quasi-Biennial Oscillation, or QBO. La Nina cools the Pacific, sending ripples through the atmosphere that disrupt the jet stream over Europe. This often blocks mild Atlantic air and lets Arctic cold surge south. The QBO, a cycle of wind reversals high above the equator, is in its easterly phase historically linked to a weaker vortex. When La Nina and an easterly QBO align, the odds of a cold, snowy winter rise sharply. It's a rare double whammy, stacking the deck for severe weather. While nothing is guaranteed, the signals are strong. Forecasters are watching closely. The atmosphere is primed for a memorable winter. Another key factor, shrinking Arctic sea ice. Less ice means more dark ocean, which absorbs heat and releases it in winter, warming the air above. This warmth helps build high pressure over the Barents and Kara Seas, blocking Atlantic weather and steering Siberian cold into Europe. The result, a classic beast from the east setup. Low sea ice, La Nina, and an easterly QBO are all pushing Europe toward a colder, snowier winter. Each factor amplifies the others, making this forecast unusually robust. It's not just one signal, it's a convergence. The evidence for a severe winter is compelling. Not all of Europe will feel winter's bite equally. Northern and Eastern Europe, Scandinavia, Poland, Germany, the Baltics, 
are on the front lines for frequent, intense cold. The UK and Ireland will see a battle between Arctic blasts and milder Atlantic air, leading to rapid weather swings. One week could bring snow and freezing winds. The next, a brief thaw and risk of flooding. Southern Europe, France, Spain, Italy will be less consistently cold, but when Arctic air arrives, it can trigger heavy snow, especially near the Mediterranean. Expect variability, headline grabbing cold snaps, then milder spells. The pattern is set, but day-to-day -day details will shift. Be ready for surprises. This winter's story will be written in waves. Stay alert to local forecasts. The beast from the east isn't just a headline, it's a real threat. When high pressure builds over Scandinavia and low pressure sits to the southwest, icy winds sweep from Siberia across Europe. The UK remembers 2018, heavy snow, travel chaos, and days below freezing. This winter's setup is eerily similar, with a weakened vortex and blocking highs. As cold air crosses the North Sea, it picks up moisture, fueling heavy snow for eastern Britain. Not all easterly winds bring blizzards. Some are dry, others dump snow. The forecast points to a high risk of the snowier kind. Understanding these patterns is key to preparation. The beast may awaken. Will you be ready? What do the experts say? Severe weather. Europe's latest outlook echoes these warnings. La Nina and an easterly QBO are primed to disrupt the polar vortex. Their maps show high pressure over the Arctic, cold air flooding Europe, and above average snowfall for much of the continent. The UK and Western Europe may see mixed signals, but snow risk is elevated. This setup hasn't been seen since the severe winters of 2010 to 2011 and 2012 2013. The consensus prepare for a harsh, memorable winter. The experts agree the cold is coming. Are you ready? The polar vortex doesn't just affect Europe, it shapes weather across the northern hemisphere. North America faces deep freezes and major snowstorms as Arctic air surges south. The US, Midwest, East Coast and Canada could see record cold and snow, while the West stays mild. In Asia, Siberia, China and Japan, brace for prolonged cold and heavy sea effect snow. This is a global reshuffling of the atmosphere, not just a European event. Watching weather in North America and Asia can offer clues for what's next in Europe. The world is connected by these powerful patterns. This winter, the cold will be felt far and wide. Stay tuned to the global story. With a severe winter likely, preparation is essential. Check your home's insulation, service your boiler, and stock up on essentials, food, water, medications, torches, and batteries. Have a power bank ready and fuel for fires or stoves. Dress in layers, wear hats, gloves, and waterproof boots. Keep an emergency kit in your car blanket, shovel, torch, food, and water. Stay informed with reliable forecasts and look out for vulnerable neighbors. This forecast is a guide, not a guarantee. Conditions will evolve. By preparing now, you can stay safe, warm, and even enjoy winter's wild beauty. What are your top winter tips? Share in the comments. Let's face the cold together, ready and resilient. Thanks for watching. Stay warm, stay safe.